Hello guys, welcome back again. Today we will see one of the important topic uh, as part of automation where we wanted to record our automation script or a test execution recording. So for that we have many tools but uh, today I will show you one of the easiest way of uh, recording the execution using Monte screen recorder. So how we can configure that. So if you see my screen so this is the test case that I have uh, designed so which is just a general test case to log in into the application so using this we will try to see how we can record this entire uh, scenario so for that I need to go to a uh, browser which is the MVN repository so you can type for Monte so if you just type the Monte screen recorder it will get you the results and this is the first one you have to open so once you open you will see the dependency which is the 0 0.7.7.0 .7 and this is the dependency that you need to put it in your maven project in case if you are using a java project you can download the java file or a java jar file and you can refer to the the home page of this a monte screen recorder so who created that so if i click that so it says that monte media library so this is a demo application and you can still see a jar file so you can download the jar file and use the build path and put in the build path and you can use that jar file or you can convert that jar file into an application or a, a text file then you can use in your automation so I have converted that the entire uh, scenario or entire code so which is here in my notepad so this is the entire code which uses that so let me put this into my project the maven project so first and foremost thing you have to go to the pom.xml in your maven project and this is the the maven dependency that you have to put this is the 0.7.7 .7 monte screen recorder so this dependency you have to keep in your project and then you have to save then it will import all the libraries into the maven dependencies and after that this is my test case and the code so this is the code which i showed you right in the notepad so this code i will pin this in the comment section you can find from there so this code no need to change anything in the code we just need to use that code so this is my default library or default package so here I have stored this entire code so in this code what we have is a the one of the class file <coughs> which has two methods one is a record and one is a stop so this is a record script and this is a stop script so using this two we have to use in our project so uh, let me do one thing let me delete this execution which i did in the previous uh, session okay now you can see there is no folder of test recorder so no need to specify the test folder i mean recorder folder also it will automatically create in your project so go to this test login and here if i call this function called i mean class called screen screen recorder class dot start record and stop record so i am using a start record here so this will accept the method name or a function name so here this is my main method so i will use this main method and put in this parameters okay and this is a start record and i need to stop the record also right so stop record i can put at the last so same thing i have to call again this class called screen recorder dot stop record okay no need to specify anything here it's just a stop record so this is the only thing you have to do the entire automation code is yours and just put this into your test methods so in case if you are using any kind of test ng project or anything you can put this into your method like a test method under the test method starting of the test method you can keep at the end of the test method you can keep or you can keep it at the before suit and after suit so that it will entirely record all the automation scenarios so better is the test case wise recording is the best option because we wanted to see which test case fail and how it fail when it fail where it fail right now if i right click to this project and run as java application it will accept a save and it will open a browser now and it will run the script so this is a basic login okay now it has executed the script and it should close this browser it is done and there is no errors and you can see the entire script is done now uh, i wanted to see where my recording is so for that i can go to this project and refresh 
I will see a test recorder folder created. Under that I have this main because this is using my method name and when it is recorded. So I will double click and open. Now you can see it is showing how it has started recording and how it has ended the recording. What scenario it has covered. So this is a handy tool you can use in your automation and uh, you can plug this to any of the, uh, the reports like HTML and extend report. So like that you can use. So hope this small session is useful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. In case if you have any questions, queries, you can post in my comment section. I will be out. Thank you.